The Cosmic Summit 2025 was a conference held from June 20th to June 23rd at the Courier Convention Center in Greensboro, North Carolina. Participants from 14 different countries and 45 U.S. states came together to learn from each other, have life-changing conversations, and laugh together, and challenge what we think we know about human history, Earth history, and science. I shared the stage at the Cosmic Summit with Chris Cottrell from Doubler's Den to discuss the Carolina Bays. The Cosmic Summit started on June 20th, 2025, which was the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. The sky was clear and I had a good view of the sunset from my hotel window. Some attendees gathered near Pilot Mountain to witness the Cherokee solstice ceremony. I met some old friends and made some new ones. This is Ben Van Kirkwick from Uncharted X. He interviewed me for his podcast several years ago. He made two informative presentations about ancient Egypt and the labyrinth of Egypt at the Cosmic Summit. I met again with George Howard. He is a co-author of the paper that introduced the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis in 2007. He is also the organizer of the Cosmic Summit. Many topics that are suppressed by conventional academia are freely discussed at this yearly conference. Matt Beal is the chairman and CEO of Beal Inc. He also produces the Matt Beal Limitless podcast. He exhibited a large collection of precisely machined Egyptian bases at the Cosmic Summit. Matt has played a key role in the investigation and study of the pre-dynastic stone bases. The insert shows a 3D printed replica given to me by Mark Young. I also met Dr. Gunther Kletechka, who is a geophysicist renowned for his extensive research in planetary magnetism, impact cratering, and the development of space instrumentation. He is a research associate professor at the University of Alaska Fairbanks Geophysical Institute and an assistant professor at Charles University in Prague. At the Cosmic Summit, Dr. Kletechka explained his latest publication, which proposes that time comes in three dimensions, rather than just the single one we experience as continual forward progression, and that space emerges as a secondary manifestation. I first met Randall Carlson in 2017. It was nice to reconnect with him and discuss some of the work that he did on the Carolina base way back in 2008. Randall is known for his research into topics like sacred geometry, the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis, and ancient cataclysms. My presentation was about the application of mathematics to the Carolina base. I have uploaded a video of my presentation to YouTube. There's a link to it in the description of this video.